What's up, Team KBA? Oh, we just got a bigger package that arrived here in Seoul, South Korea. We've got a total of four new Vivo Barefoot shoes for us to check out today. Vivo Barefoot's latest range are looking like after a couple of years since I last reviewed their Magma Trail and their Geo Court men's shoes. If you want to check them out, they're on my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Give this video a big thumbs up. And you can also find my written Features on Vivo Barefoot shoes on my website at onetechtraveler.com. The shoes we are going to be checking out today are the Tracker Textile FG2, the Tracker Decon FG2, the new Gobi Boots, and finally, the Magna Light Water Resistant SG. Let's get started. So if I got you, you got me. We'll turn this night to Alright, so you might have heard of Vivo Barefoot. They are based in the UK and they design their shoes around our feet. So you'll find their barefoot DNA featured across all of their shoes. And I'll talk more about that in a moment. I'm not going to dive too much on the technicals that I love going through and all the specific features. I'll leave that for the individual product reviews I'll be following this video up with. So keep it locked here. Most of these are EU43 or size 9, the only exception is the Magna Lights, an EU42, which is a size eight. And I talked about with the Magna Trails, how I'm normally not a size eight. All of these with more thicker materials, um, I went for my standard size UK9 EU43. So fingers crossed, they are all going to fit me well. The Tracker Deacon FG2 JJF Special Edition. Damn. First impression, the quality feels so good. Barefoot DNA means you've got a wider toe box, a lot more breathable for the feet to sprawl out. Here's the traction or the outsole towards the back. Awesome. And for the special edition, you can see it's got the Vivo Barefoot X JJF edition. Honestly, the quality feels amazing. Like you instantly see it and feel it. That leather, all the details, it's just got a lot of different textiles going on. Feels really nice and rugged, stretchy around the tongue section. And we have two pulleys to get our feet inside. It's honestly unreal. I think this obsidian and shadow color looks epic to the special edition version. And that traction, just look how grippy that is. Me. 
Let's move forward to the next one. Oh, let's go with the Gobi boots. Viva Barefoot shoes are a lot more for outdoorsy adventures, but these take on more of a everyday shoe and I'm excited to see how they've translated that over. You do have the Scots boots. Here they are. I think it looks epic. Towards the back. This is like a, a mid height shoe, but it looks super sleek and slim. You can just see the way it's not bulky, but it's definitely riding quite tall. And the outsole is a lot different. It's not as aggressive or super grippy what you'd need for, you know, more outdoor terrain surfaces. The red Vivo Barefoot logo underneath. This honestly feels amazing as well. That leather, these ones aren't as like bootsy as the Scots version. Super dope. These shoes are made using natural unlined leather and some color transfer may occur. Similar profile with the wider toe box of the Tracker Deacons, but you can see it takes more of an everyday casual shoe design, which I'm really digging. Both of them really slick in their own ways. Have you ever walked a high pass, watched the northern lights flash, took a photograph on a Paris street? Have you ever climbed a tall tree, asked someone for mercy, gave something away that wasn't free? I don't wanna get a vision of you stuck in my head, because I know that you were meant to be wilder. Another night of television while you're lying in bed, it's slowly gonna be the death of you. Have you ever? Let's move on up. This is the Magna Lights WR SG, which is soft ground. Based on when I had the Magna Trails a couple of years back, I found I had to size down than my typical because around the mid area, it was just much looser. And I found if you size down, it's a lot easier to make it fit than going for a larger size where your feet's just gonna be sliding around. So if you're like half sizing, then you're better to size down. If you've tried Vivo Barefoot shoes before, then just go true to your size. These look super slick. Honestly, I'm just gonna say that several times because each one of them look awesome. They feel so good. Like all got really nice identity across the tracker, the Magnus, super grippy, kind of different from the tracker. You've got both pulleys on the tongue and the heel, slightly different. Because this is the lighter version, it's more for like agile. The pulleys, the back, we've just got more of a corded sort of material. Very strong and firm. You've got the same stretchy material as the Tracker Deacons. And that should make it a lot easier to slide your feet in than I did with the previous ones, which is a lot more stiffer. So I'm, I like that. I'm, I'm just blown away. There's no part which feels like it's got some weakness or lower quality. Everything just really feels polished, complete high premium materials and experience. And naturally you would expect that because these are your premium barefoot shoes, but you can really feel the quality differences. <laughs> Finally, we get on to the Tracker Textile FG2. So this is firm ground, dress blue, the most different since I've got it in a blue. Actually matches my Western Rise Transit Over shirt and my Versa hat. So we've got a nice navy look. Give you a look at the sides, the back, the front. 
the top this is a lot more thicker material so definitely standard size seemed better here this one shares similar to the tracker which i guess so because they're from the same series and close detailing in the textiles tracker deacon feels more for the outdoorsy terrain where you need that extra ruggedness the Viva Barefoot logo there which is a lot more pronounced than Tracker Deacon edition accented nicely on the magnet contrasting the obsidian and then on the Gobi there's just no branding very minimal look and helps towards that casual everyday shoe so these are all four Viva Barefoot shoes it's also worth noting the tracker textile is waterproof. The materials themselves are naturally great against the elements to block it, such as the, the leather and the water resistant nature of the Magna lights, but the tracker textile is fully waterproof. what it looks like from my view giving you a top down closer look at the main body material and the lacing it's a lot more stiffer this is the wild hide leather and then we've got more textured wild hide leather the heaviest one is the Gobi Boots, which is 511 grams. The Tracker Deacon is just under 495 grams. And while I couldn't find information on the Tracker, the closest one is the Tracker 2 FG. If you look for that, it's basically the textiled version. And this one is pretty similar. So both of these are just around 500 grams. The lightest one is the Magna lights, and these are much lighter, 340 grams removable insoles, which does vary up the sizing and gives you a bit more to play with when it comes to fitting it. If you're between sizes or you find it's just a little bit too tight, it's gonna give you extra breathing room. Or if you find you just don't need these soles, you can rock them on their own. Reconnect with the senses in your feet, activate more of the joints, the muscles, and just the way that our feet naturally like to move. Across the Magna Lights, the Tracker 2 or the Tracker Textile, the Tracker Deacon, John John Florence collaboration version, which is from the Surfing Legend. These three come with the Outlast Thermal Insole, makes it a lot better to retain the heat in winter, autumn, or just very cold temperatures adds some slight padding upwards and thickness. Tracker Deacon JJF edition has got some writing on here as part of the collaboration. The Gobi Boots comes with the natural cork insole textured look and underneath, providing you've got all the same size across your Viva Barefoot shoes, then you can basically interchange these so I can put the thermal in the Gobi Boots, matches up to the thermal. The lacing is different from the rest of the three since these are your casual everyday shoes just your typical lacing. Tracker Deacon and the Magna Lights looks to be the same lacing. These are a lot more robust and durable, less likely to fray. On the Tracker Deacon, you've actually got metal hardware for where the lacing threads through, all the way from the mid to the top. On the Gobi Boots, you've just got metal hardware on the top piece with eyelet holes for the mid. You've got metal hardware on the Tracker Textile with three hardware elements at the top. And we've just got 
these loops stitched on the sides on the magna lights there's a single metal hardware at the top and the rest of it have these smaller loops Tension to detail wise, you can see they all have their unique distinct features across the models. The Tracker Textile or the Tracker 2, I've grown to really enjoy using it, especially when it was raining down heavy. I defaulted to the Tracker Textile because it is fully waterproof. It's got nice style, very comfortable to wear. The thermal insole and the actual cushioning gives it a little bit more like outdoor protection, very high tread. So it's Excellent for outdoor trekking or terrain, but if you're using it every day, you're still going to get great traction. Ruggedized type of Viva Barefoot shoe, Tracker Deacon, JJF edition. Very easy to slide your feet in since it does have the same mid-upper like the Magna Lights. So using the two pulleys, taking your feet in and out of it, very easy. It is made out of leather and it's like water resistant, but because of that, I would probably want to take more care wearing it i wouldn't really want to take it outdoors as much as freely than i would with say the magna lights or the tracker textile it's going to give you a little bit more warmth a little bit more protection and coverage than the more breathable materials and overall i just really love the slick exterior of the tracker deacon series these are premium barefoot shoes they're priced as so but as soon as you get it out of the box impression super high quality premium materials it feels great the construction's all really strong too and i'll be interested to see how it holds up over time thanks a lot for joining me team kba in this huge unboxing haul of vivo barefoot shoes find more of my deeper thoughts on these vivo barefoot shoes on my website so check it out at onetechtraveler.com if you like any of the vivo barefoot shoes i featured today or you want to explore the rest of vivo barefoot's range support the channel by checking them out in the links down below give this video a big thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to see more awesome videos like this one i'll see you in the next video team kba but until then keep being awesome peace